Hello citizens of the internet. My name is Ajit Virkud. I am professor of obstetrics and gynecology from Mumbai, India, with more than 30 years of experience in this specialty. Now that the possibility, as well as fear of death from acute COVID-19 infection has abetted, thanks to mass vaccination in many countries, the medical community is shifting its attention to long-term complications of COVID infection. One such complication, which, according to me, is going to create havoc in human population is COVID-induced diabetes, which in short I refer to as CID. This is my topic of discussion today. Two new NIH-supported studies, now available as pre-proofs in the journal Cell Metabolism have highlighted a worrying complication, development of diabetes after an acute COVID-19 infection. They have confirmed that SARS-CoV-2 virus type 2 can target and impair the body's insulin-producing cell. Earlier lab studies had suggested that SARS-CoV-2 can infect human beta cells. As depicted in this animation, this dangerous virus can replicate in these insulin-producing beta cells, to make more copies of itself and spread to other beta cells and ultimately destroy them. One study suggests that the coronavirus may preferentially infect the insulin-producing beta cells. In addition to the destruction of beta cells, the infection also appears to change the fate of the surviving cells. These studies showed that beta cells go through a process of transdifferentiation, in which they appeared to get reprogrammed. In this process, the cells begin producing less insulin and more glucagon. They also began producing higher levels of a digestive enzyme, called trypsin-1. Importantly, they also showed that this transdifferentiation process could be reversed by a chemical, called transisrib, known to reduce an important cellular response to stress. The consequences of this transdifferentiation of beta cells aren't yet clear, but would be predicted to worsen insulin deficiency and raise blood glucose levels. More studies are needed to confirm this. Now let me address the question, why does COVID-19 virus have affinity for pancreatic beta cells? The answer is very straightforward. Beta cells and other cell types in the pancreas express the ACE2 receptor protein, the TMPRSS2 enzyme protein, and neuropolin-1, NRP1, all of which SARS-CoV-2 depends upon to enter and infect human cells. This is why, like lungs, SARS-CoV-2 virus has predilection for pancreatic cells. From the management point of view, one needs to know whether COVID-induced diabetes is type 1 diabetes or is type 2 diabetes. The answer to this question is not as simple or black or white as one would imagine. Although it appears to be similar to maturity onset type 2 diabetes, it is not exactly so. COVID-induced diabetes is not classical type 1 or type 2 diabetes, but a substratified new type of diabetes. Having said this, let me point out these are initial findings. More studies are needed to understand how SARS-CoV-2 reaches the pancreas and what role the immune system might play in the resulting damage. Is there another reason for high risk or diabetes in patients with acute COVID-2 infection? Yes. There is. Patients who develop acute severe COVID-19 infection are prescribed high doses of steroids. As you know steroids can raise body glucose levels. There are other reasons. Some of these patients are prescribed other drugs like antifungal agents and antidepressant drugs, these can also cause hyperglycemia. In conclusion, I will end with following bullet points. There is a bidirectional relationship between COVID-19 and diabetes. COVID-19 is a high risk factor for new onset diabetes. Aggressive management of optimal glycemic control is important for reducing the severity of infection and mortality associated with it. 
Patients recovering from COVID-19 infection should be followed up and screened regularly for development of diabetes. Lastly, whether this new type of diabetes, so-called COVID-induced diabetes, will be permanent or transient with epigenetic effect, needs further investigation. Clinicians should come together to fight this dual pandemic of diabetes and COVID-19. If you want to know about this topic or any other topic in obstetrics or gynecology, please refer to my books, Modern Gynecology, Modern Obstetrics, and Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology. They are available on Amazon.in. Their links are given below. For purchase inquiries, contact me on the WhatsApp number mentioned here. I have also written and published two question and answer books, which are very useful for students appearing for undergraduate and postgraduate examinations. These are Clinical Cases in Obstetrics, 1000 Plus Questions and Answers, and Clinical Cases in Gynecology, 1000 Plus Questions and Answers. These are also available on Amazon.in. You can also follow me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Blogspot. Their links are given in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, and also subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon for more educational videos like this. Thank you for watching.